hi welcome to rest Short tutorials in this tutorial we are going to talk about crud operations in my previous session i have already talked about crud operations with the postman with this session we'll actually you know fire up this crud op operations using the rest Short requests so again in this tutorial i'm going to use the student application that we have used earlier if you don't have that you can download you can get the download link from the description box below okay so like in my case I have already downloaded it it's and it's uh, present on my desktop for, so first let's start that application student application is just basically a jar file okay in order to start it first go to the directory where it is located and then use the command java char rest dot char okay and the application will start running on the backend okay if I show you now the secret operations on this applications okay let, let the postman be open okay so now first let's just discover, discuss about while the uh, postman is opening okay here it is what are these CRUD operations so by the CRUD we mean C stands for the create R stands for retrieve update and delete okay and corresponding to these CRUD operations we have this HTTP methods people usually get confused between these that you know is the HTTP method or the CRUD operations are different? No, they're sa same thing. Like retrieve is equivalent to the HTTP method get, create is equivalent to the HTTP method post, update is equivalent to the put or patch, and delete is delete. Okay, we have already you know fired up all these requests get, post, put, delete on the student application using the postman, right? If I like again, if I show you, there is this one URL which will fetch the list of okay that was a patch request so in order to you know use the get request I have to send this request and in the response I'll get this JSON okay as the student app is running on the backend we are firing it it locally runs on you know uh, on your port so I just fire up uh, the get request on this particular URL and in the response I'll get the list of students right so same way you know all these operations now will fire up using the rest assured requests okay so now if I go back to the Eclipse I already created a new project okay a new maven project I have it added the rest assured dependency that you can easily download from uh, uh, from the maven repository okay from here I also downloaded it right after it right here I will let's say create a new package say com dot rest assured dot tests okay here's my package in this package I'll create a new class my first request that will be get request so get all students this is the request right so in this request first of all I will create a method say name of the method is uh, test double zero one okay and I'll I will make a test I will make this method a test you know by giving a test ng annotation and okay it's a new project so I have to add the test ng here now I got the option to import it from the test ng library okay so <coughs> okay so now we'll actually start building up a rest assured requests right so the first thing that we have to you know uh, declare within the method is the base URL and the base path same as the postman like uh, here I have provided this URL which has you know a base URL it has a base path and a endpoint same goes here suppose if this is my base URL I will store it inside rest rest a short dot base URI first of all we have to provide the base URI and here is my base URI oops not copied so suppose this is my base URI so I'll put it here within the double quotes right same way I can provide the base path so I'll write rest a short dot base path equals to 
the base path so in this case my base path is this right and at last we have the endpoint okay i can also you know provide the endpoint here but i don't do that because you know uh, we have to make these classes reusable right so like for a different endpoint or for a different request this value will be changed so i'm not putting it inside the base path okay so now first of all all rest assured requests are initialized with with the method called given that directly comes from a class present in rest assured libraries called re re uh, request specification okay so there are two main classes present uh, in the rest assured first one is the request specification okay which has this method called given and there is another class called response okay given is a static method so that's why i have to make a static import in order to use it so how i'll make a static import i'll simply write import static and then the rest assured library address which is io dot rest assured within that again i have a packet called rest assured which has a method called given right so you, you saw that when i was making a static import of this given method it's giving the class you know which uh, which holds it which is a request specification right so when i'll import it the error will be removed okay so in the same way response class can be import imported from the rest assured libraries so all uh, you know all my rest assured requests are initialized with the given do not get confused by you know why we use this given method it's just like that you know uh, even in the be behavior driven frameworks you know we use this method called given so basically you know given is uh, just like a method which provides the preconditions right suppose uh, let's take a very basic example like you solve a mathematics problem you first provide you know you write, you write the things you provide the things that are given in the statement so the same way you know in the given we provide you know the predefined things like it uh, the request could hold some headers right it can have some cookies or some parameters so all that you know will be stored inside the given methods so right here if i'll start my request so i'll use the request specification class called given then in the same request you know i'll set the content type okay so i'll write content type and then i will actually pass the content which i am giving in the request so in our case it's, it will be json you know right and right after it i can also log my request you know what right now like we are, we are not passing it is it's a get method but we can also log it okay and at last i can simply say you know this request will return as the object of response class so here i can fire a finally fire up the method called get and here in the argument i will pass this endpoint which was list okay so here i'll pass the endpoint which is list okay so now if i print this response i will see the list of all the students in the console okay so here's my request ready this was the base uri base path okay initialize with the given and at last on the request specification object i fire up the get method okay and i'll tell you that this is not the way you know we actually built up the request it's just for our understanding from where these methods are coming okay so i'll i'll show you the you know better way of you know writing the request or rest assured request okay but but first let's just run it so see you know if we get the list of all students or not okay so now if i'll run this and yeah here it is in the response i can see that i just got list of all the students like i was getting in the postman okay but this time we built up that request using the rest assured okay so now i'll tell you you know how we actually built up this classes is just for our you know understanding from where the method is coming in actual actually you know we directly write our request in this way like starting from the given right after it you know setting the content type
right which is again json okay and i can also log it after the log i'm using another method called all that basically means you know i'm logging everything like i'm uh, request body request header everything request parameter and at last i'll fire up this method which is get on the endpoint list right here we go so if i'll run my request now again you know i'll get the same response but you know it's much more cleaner than that okay so in the same way you know i fired up this get request i can also fire up the post request okay so let's quickly see you know how we can fire up the post request using the rest shot so i'll create another class and i'll name this request as let's say add new student request okay so basically you know few things will remain same first i'll create a method public void test double zero two okay give it a test ng annotation here we go so the base path and the base url will remain same okay okay let's check it out so i have this file here where i have stored all the so for the post request yeah this is the and there's no end point right like this is the end point base path is the end point so now here one thing that we have to understand that in the post request we are basically adding a new student like if i go here where we have added in the postman okay and if i go to the body i have provided you know a json okay in the body so in the same way i have i need to provide this json now there are multiple ways to you know build up this json it can be built through you know uh, using the json object json array using the java collections okay and the the way you know which which is which is followed by the industry you know using the plain old java code okay or using you know creating it by the object oriented concept that we'll see in you know uh, in, in in the coming up videos but right now all i have to do is you know send this json so basically i'll just copy this json and make a file out of it and i will send that file uh, you know with the post request so i'll create a text file here so i'll just simply open this notepad put this json here okay so it's not in the right format so always like i told you we can use the website called stack uh, json stack viewer not at you you know which will give you json in the nice format like this okay so i'll just put this json here and save this file at a location you know uh, where i can use it okay suppose this is the folder and name of the file is uh post dot json okay so here i saved my file now i'll simply go to the directory of this file where i have just made it copy its path and in my main request first of all i'll create a file object let's say json is the name new file and here i will pass that path okay so right now in the java you know either it can be double front slashes or a single backslash a double single slash or a single front slash okay so i'll just make the double backslashes in this particular folder and the name of that file is post dot json right this is the file that we have just created import the file from the java dot io and we have and we we have you know a json file ready with us that has our json that we need to post okay so now i'll again start building up my request starting with the given okay so again to use the given we have to make a static import as it's a static method so i'll put it here okay 
and set the content type that again the content that I'm sending is a JSON is in the JSON format so given dot content type right set the content type to the JSON and right after it let's say we are also logging it okay and then I'll use the method called body okay because you know I'm providing a body I'm providing uh, you know providing a file object in that body that has my JSON which has name called JSON and then at last I'll use the post okay right and again I can store it, this request inside a response class object which will be equals to this right so I'll import it and I'll also print the response you know I'll get some response when I add a new student to the application so I'm just simply printing that response okay so now let's check it out if the new student get added so if I fire up this request now I'm seeing the response that a new student is getting added we can again cross verify it from the get request okay so again if I'll fire up this get, get request I'll see a new student entry at the last okay so here it is with the ID 101 right this is the student that we were adding okay and it just got added right so in the next video uh, in this video we have covered about in you know, the get and the post request in the next video we'll see how we can use the update and the delete card operations okay thank you